Good morning to uh, you all and on behalf of Fitch Ratings, it's indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the second edition on Fitch and Vietnam event uh, hosted in association with the asset. Theo hướng là đổi mới cái mô hình tăng trưởng kinh tế uh, dựa vào cái năng suất, chất lượng, uh, hiệu quả của cái uh, uh, nền sản xuất xã hội uh, giảm dần khi phụ thuộc vào cái vốn uh, như, như cái thời kỳ trước đây. Very recently, uh, changed the outlook on Vietnam from stable to positive. And this is on top one year ago of a rating upgrade. At the same time, you hear many economists in Vietnam saying that the currency is much too strong. The attraction to consumer credit is not limited only to private institutions mention it um, is the issue of data availability and transparency. As disruptions to the global supply chain encourage more entrance to Vietnam on the manufacturing side. If we need a resolution for those uh, non-performing loans, uh, which are legal CE issues. So manufacturing in Vietnam currently contributes probably about 20% of the economy of the GDP. là nhu cầu đầu tư là 90 tỷ đô. Với cái lượng vốn như vậy thì cái các cái nhu cầu để mà thu xếp các cái ngân hàng trong nước ấy, thì đa số đã bị vượt cái giới hạn quy định của nhà nước. Obviously from a from a regulator's perspective and the investors as well where you start to lose the confidence. Especially for the IPPs are sort of uh, the question which ones are, are sort of good. I would say uh, Vietnam again quite unique and um, a sovereign as issue, EVN probably looking to issue. And quite frankly, this is the sweet spot for I've seen development agencies, countries like Vietnam, where we're going, where we're investing. Call Brownfield Project first, when we like EVN or some other organization, they have a good. We need uh, further, you know, regulation, regulatory framework from the government to encourage for the public issue and for the corporate bonds. 